Now, it's been a while since you guys have been back out on the field together. Talk about this time of year. I, practice is always a grind, but it's a little more exciting this time of year because it's a bowl game and you're getting ready to do something pretty neat. Yeah, I think it's uh, a little bit more exciting and it's kind of nice because you kind of get the opportunity to get the young guys more involved and develop them a little bit so they get a lot more reps. So they're definitely more excited because they're not playing scout team. They're actually repping our offense and defense. So uh, the energy gets a little bit up there and you, you get some good stuff out there. So, McAllen, now that you've got a whole season to reflect on it, you know, just what was the experience of, of playing, you know, at a program like Tennessee in the SEC like, you know, versus your expectations? I mean, it's a whole new world out here for, like, football is, from where I came from, it's insane. And, uh, I mean, I'm super grateful to be here and even get the opportunity to be out here and for my family to be out here and enjoy it with me was uh, something else. Like, I truly love being in the state of Tennessee and playing football here. Bulls are kind of strange because you're going like a, a month without playing. What's what is the sense right now in the locker room on the practice field in terms of, of resetting and getting the competitive edge back to to win this game? Um, I think it's just everybody's uh, all the stuff that outside of the field is blown over. Now it's kind of just lock into who we are and just start practicing and getting that competitive edge going again. This week we got like a normal slate of practices, so we're just kind of get back into our rhythm. You came here obviously with a with a purpose, and, and one of those is you wanted to put yourself on on this stage compared to where you were. How much do you think you have bettered yourself as a player, and how much do you think that will help you in terms of opportunities at the next level moving forward? Yeah, I think I've uh, improved night and day difference just in the run game alone. I've changed my body since I've gotten here, gained 20 pounds. And uh, you know, our, our tight ends coach is a former offensive lineman guy, so he's pretty solid in the run game. And then just being around talented guys and practicing against talented defensive guys, I've improved every, like every day just being out here on the field with them. So I think I've put in put good stuff on tape against SEC competition and have really developed myself. So hopefully I'll get an opportunity after this is over. You mentioned the young guys. How have you seen Ethan Davis handle these recent practices? Uh, you can tell he's a little winded because he's not used to having to run as much but <laughs> and while he's gaining weight. But he looks good out there. He, he's definitely gotten even better in the offense. and. He's really embraced the run blocking side of it, and you can tell that he's being very deliberate in every rep that he gets out there. I don't, I don't know how much of you guys have really looked into Iowa, but what, what are your thoughts on, on the matchup and, and their defense and, and how, that's gonna, how the game's going to be? I mean, they're a good defense. They're solid up front and good tacklers everywhere. So I think it's just a, an opportunity to show who we are as an offense and kind of like we're up against good, uh, like a good competition. So we got to be our best and step up. Kind of obviously, you had to come here and, and learn this offense in a year, and next year there'll be guys who have to do the same thing, I imagine. How, how, how difficult was that process? How quickly were you able to kind of pick up the system here? Um, I, it's not too bad once you kind of get a few reps at it, like live, but uh, when you get first get thrown into it and the tempo, if you're not used to it, can kind of, kind of kill you and you can get a little bit frustrated with it. I think that's the biggest thing for me was learning that it's not always going to be perfect playing that fast, and you kind of have to just let things like brush off and just not let it affect the nef next play. McAllen, I believe you played in the 2021 FCS playoffs, correct? I did, yeah. Yeah, how does preparation for the FCS playoffs compare to a bowl game in FBS? Uh, I mean, usually it's a pretty quick turnaround. You, you play your last game of the season, and then the very next week you're playing in the first round, whereas here you get a whole month, so it's – you kind of get your body back these last few weeks. The vet guys have kind of like this, like declined on reps. So you, I kind of feel pretty good right now <laughs> going into it. And then you get a, a little bit more time to look into film on them where it's like FCS quick turnaround. It's just a normal game week. You're going to have Holden coming in here later this week to kind of do what you did a year ago, which was kind of watch and, and kind of take stuff in. What advice will you give a guy like that? And then two, how do you describe like being, knowing this is your last go around there's no next year for you like is is this stretch between the last regular season game and the bowl game is it kind of like being a senior in high school that stretch from spring break to graduation you know like we're like you know all the haze in the barn so to speak yeah uh it's definitely i think it's just taking it all in and enjoying it before it's you know it's turned into a job interview after this so uh, i'm just trying to enjoy my teammates and being around my brothers and just enjoy the entire experience that is the bowl game and then for holden i think Coming in, it's just feel out the room and get to know the guys better. Don't put too much into having to learn the offense right away when you're here for bull week because you know you're gonna he's gonna go back home after and hang out for a couple weeks and then come in and actually get 
going in on offense for spring ball. John, you, you talked a little bit about Ethan earlier. How much have you and Jacob been trying to make sure that you're pushing him? Because you guys are both moving on. He, he's going to have a bigger opportunity next season. How have you guys tried to keep him locked in and make sure that he makes the most of his first year so that he's ready to step up when you guys are, are out of the way? Uh, I think just by keeping coaching him up on every rep, whenever he comes off, he looks at me and him and asks, like, what do you think, what do, what do you think of the rep? And uh, I think his, his biggest thing is just, like, realizing that he's going to have to do it all next year, and so he needs to be mentally prepared to, like, there's going to be success and failures. I think that's the one thing is, like, you can see some reps when he doesn't get it, and I can relate to this, is he gets frustrated with it if he's not doing it right. And it's like, dude, you got a whole calendar year to get ready. Like, you're going to be all right. Just keep working on your steps, and you'll get there. Yeah, pretty similar in the run game, which is funny because it's like <laughs> something that he hasn't done that much and something I didn't do a whole lot. So he's kind of like, it's so similar where it's like you can tell he gets frustrated and it's like, dude, you haven't done that for that long. Like, you're going to get there. Don't worry about it. How beneficial was it to be here last year for four or five practices and then go to the bowl site? I mean, what, what, what do you really learn in that? And, and was it worth it? Because you obviously didn't have to do that. What was it worth coming here for a couple of weeks? Yeah, I think it just you kind of learn what the what the practice is going to be like. You get an overview of who the guys in the room are going to be, and like you can kind of build on that relationship with everybody. And like when I got here, Aze was not technically the coach yet, so I didn't we didn't have a coach, but he's going to get to know Aze and how his style of coaching is throughout the the next week is. Um, I think the most important thing is like you just you can you get exposed to the culture and you see what the standard is and what they want to achieve and that's like laid out from the beginning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.